your point now, Hansel, for you are doomed. <laughs> Lazy bones and boil some water. We must cook something nice for your brother to eat. We will fatten him up. And when that is done, I shall eat him. Get up. First, get some wood and then boil some water. Then lay the table and then cook, cook, cook. Please don't eat my brother. Oh, stop sniveling. There's work to be done. Brother. Well, why would you want to eat him? You were so kind last night. Is it something we have done? Is it because we ate your house? But we were starving, you see. But still was wrong. And we could work for you to make it up. I am going to eat him because that is what witches like to do. They like to eat, we boys and girls. And since that is what I like to do, that is what I am going to do. Oh, as far as Eating my house is concerned. I agree that it was rude, and that's why I built it in the first place, to entice greedy little boys and girls like you. Now, don't just stand there. Get to work. Hansel goes there every moment while we talk. Shall I prepare breakfast for us, too? No, no, because today is a feast day. There's a lovely little boy, all round and fat and juicy. I shall have him today. <laughs> and you like to have a, a little bit of him too, huh? A, a plump, rosy arm or a, a round, succulent thigh? No! <laughs> well, I wouldn't have shared him with you anyway. <laughs> There's some crab shells over there for you, after you fed your brother, of course. No use wasting food on you when it can be put to so much better use. Hansel, you stay back. That boy, come over here. You just try it, fool. There's a clever boy. Now, Gretel, you hand the tray through the window and you stay here and see that he eats it all up. While I go off and prepare my feast. No, no, take me, no, let me go. What does she want of him? I don't understand. Oh, Hansel, she eats little children. She says she's going to fatten you up, and then she says she's going to eat you. Oh, she wouldn't dare. <gasps> Woman, I shouldn't need a thing. I won't get fat, and then she won't eat. But you must at least think you are eating, or she'll make you. Then you eat it. And I'll get fat, and she'll eat me. Put it in the back of the cage beneath the straw. If she's busy, I'll take it in the woods for the wild beast. That will do. She doesn't see very well anyway. But she has the nose of a wolf. You mustn't let her rot there, or she will know. Yum, yum. He was the tastiest that I've had this year. Gretel, come here. There's work to be done. Work, work, work. She's horrible. I hate her. What do you want? Don't you get snippety with me, young lady. I'm about to teach you something very useful. How to turn a child's heart into gingerbread. I'd rather learn to read. I'd rather learn to read. Now, first, I've put his heart into this batter, you see? Then, I open this up, and I pour the batter into the skillet like this. Mm. Looks all the way in every single bit. We're going to take him to my magic oven. Magic oven here. I... In you go, little fat boy. I say the magic 
magic word. And then I turn three times. This is my favorite part. Heart to batter, batter to heart. Death's a treat, so sweet to eat. Perfect! <laughs> oh, Hansel, the gingerbread children. She's eating all those boys and girls. They used to be living boys and girls like us. Oh, no. Let me see the tray. Did he eat it all? Yes, every bit of it. Good. Then he's eaten, and I've eaten. Now you can have your crab shells. I shall have to bake now to replace the bit of the roof and window you nasty children ate up. What shall I do? I don't know. Go outside and do whatever it is that children do. And don't think for one minute that you can run away and get help. There isn't a single soul for miles around, and the minute I miss your scent, I shall eat your brother, fat or thin. Get out! I don't even like to look at children or even smell them. Unless they're cooking, of course. I need to go quickly. Shells. Just this one cream puff. No, we mustn't get fat. All right. <laughs> 